get healed up either. I thought they had the read banks. I thought they knew what was yeah. going on because we saw the turret down. That opening killed's great. And they caused the rotates from FPX towards the A side. But Liquid have now rotated oh. back over. Zipan spotted them. Here comes the full team over towards this A site. Well, Cypher staying actually on B. Just chilling out just in case. But it's quite clearly going to be a push towards the site. You see the Molly go into play to keep them locked in towards heaven. And a 5v4 post plant. Liquid definitely ahead on this one. Yeah, really solid stuff so far on the pistol round for him. Zipan. He was mollied out. He couldn't push in yet. He's waiting for his teammates to come through as well. You can see Solkaz is just waiting with the flash in hand. Throws it up high. Wants to bite himself some more time. Zipan continues to get blinded out. Now he's going to be stunned off the spot as well. The rest of FPX starting to make their way in. But Solkaz, he's picking up the opening kill. Plenty more to go that way. His link still. I'm a fan of it when it comes to Ascent. But when it came to Split, not exactly what I like seeing from him. I need to see a bit more comfortable i think many times we see this shadow looks to try and push up close but liquid they're not over committing and the spray through the smoke cryptus will pick up a kill and that might make liquid think to connect here and say all right yeah maybe we will go towards b that was an easy one for us to pick up we didn't even expect it ourselves for fpx they're actually going to be given an opportunity they're going to be pushed into by liquid Two players in position to hold down this site. Cryptic, so well, well he's just domed Angel, so never mind that one. I <laughs> thought maybe the pistols could get away with some sort of harassment, but evidently not there being locked down. Meadow, good. F no hurrying about it. Because at the moment, they've just got weaker weapons, right? A couple of upgrades, but for the most part, it's going to be SMGs. The ult used the wall again to get them into the left side. Link just straight over there. He's up close now, looking for the fight. Meadow able to grab himself one at least, locking them down. No, oh, that was a great tripwire. Easily able to see Echoes, but he's in a molly. He's dead. There's no way out. Tried to take one with him too much. Yeah, yeah, they let him just run on in. Take all the ground you want in a round like that. Especially just challenging Ooh. that ult is always dangerous, and that's why when it's in the hands of Sulkas, he can do the damage. Already opened this one up. Oh, they got it. Shadow can hear what's going on. Now it's an operator in Echol's hands. And Link's got one as well, so it's a double operator setup on the attacking side. And FPX, they try to make a play. They try to move forward and say, okay, we'll try and even up these numbers. But getting aggressive on Catwalk. Well, Zipan's caught slipping. And Meadow now, he doesn't want to push on this either. Liquid have full control, and the numbers are massively in their favor. They are miles ahead at this point, answering right back in the buy round as we wanted to see. For FPX, they're going to look for some way back into this. It's two players pushing towards Short and Garden over on A, but they've halted that push as well. You know, you're relying on massive individual performances at the moment. That flash catches the player in the corner, and Shadow goes down right away. This is the round over and done with. If I'm at FPX, I think they just make... Oh, I was going to say make the call to save, but Xiao's just being dropped towards the spawn. And obviously, you're going to save still, but... Some of these upgraded pistols come into play. That's where FPX can find some success, and Zipan's going to start off with it. He's got the ult out as well. Fine scream, and he's taken zero damage. The boombot goes out. He blasts back to safety. He's looking for more, and he still delivers the headshot. The grenade's going up, but it might not get far enough. Link is on 5 HP, and Zipan, this is what you want to see from him, the young star. He may not be confident at times when the going gets tough, but right now he's saying the tough gets going, and he wants to deliver it to Liquid. He wants to put a halt to their dominance so far. They're jumping up with it. Cryptus is going to be blind for now. Shadow's dealt with on the site, which will give Liquid the chance to hold on to this, putting it back into the 3v3. But look who's hot on their heels. Angel's there, fires off one, but he now he's giving away his position. This is slightly problematic. Link easily deals with them despite the low health. They know, may know where Link is. Some shots going to be landed, and Zipan's not done yet. He's good for three, but he certainly needs some backup from the rest of his teammates here. They're being pushed back by the Killjoy ult. It's going to stop them getting in the site. It's going to buy it a lot of time for the Liquid players. They can now push on it, but still they're heavily outgunned here. Cryptic is the one that's very low as the push starts to come in. Nicely done by Zipan. He was on for the 5k, but now it's all on Meadow. Surely yeah, he's hoping someone might jump up high. Now he's going to put the cover out, but it's not going to be enough. He's just going to be forced back and scream cheeky as you like. Jumps up high, deals the damage. Screen may be getting spammed up, but it doesn't matter too much. There's still a huge amount of ground for them to cover, but Meadow wants to come into it. Solcast is battling back as much as possible. They've He's entering. He's head first into the sights.
And you notice there, right? He uses his wall to block off into garden. He mollies the back. He knows that like, he could have pushed into them. Most players that play Phoenix would have just went yep. over towards garden and, and looked for that kill on short. But instead, he set his teammates up to push into the site. That was a really, really smart play and something that we don't often see when it comes through to the it. Phoenix picks. Yeah, you, you have to. You have to love it. It, it's like it's like setting your team up right without going for any of the picks and you're still alive so you've gone up and set everything up without any risk at all mm -hmm. and he pulled back right because uh, after result had faded he was on catwalk yeah so he was able to just keep backstabbing them as they're focused in towards the site and they deal with screen all of a sudden oh there's a dude shooting us in the back as well and that's an automatic crossfire and this is the thing i've seen so many phoenixes go in there and they won't even use any abilities. They're right. Oh, it's all about trying to get these extra kills. Trying to get these extra kills. Well, you might not find anything. They might. They might hear you pop the ult and stay super defensive. So being able to get a setup like that just allowed Liquid so much control. Yeah, absolutely. That's the name of the game when you're playing this kind of comp as well. You need to be getting control. Right now, we're seeing a very passive round from Liquid. 30 seconds left as they look to push in. This could be problematic for them. Mm. They've got no control, really, as they look to just walk out of B main, but then they're spotted out. They've been pushed back by a paranoia. Angel's Ooh. giving up that control in middle and allowing them through, but Angel's being domed. That's a lot of their support actually taken out. As Eccles falls, it doesn't matter. The players are overwhelming the site, and it's easy pickings across the board. This should be the spike plant. Easy as you like. And a four versus two retake. FPX probably again just look to save the weapons they've retrieved for the weapon. They still want to try and push on this zip amp. Hungry for it, but he's going to get nothing done. Link's able to deal with him with no problem at all. And Meta will grab the weapon and back away. This is a very different liquid to what we've seen from before. And this is an FPX that are struggling to get started here. Even with how close that got in the time and how much time was delayed even when Liquid first went to make a move in this round. Liquid are regarded as such a high up team. They don't make little mistakes like that and go, oh, let's hunt them down. Let's just run around and see where we get kills. Eccles, though, he has been shut down to start this one off. An aggressive peek into B main has netted the opening duel for FBX. And that takes quite a lot away from Liquid, right? Losing the breach early on, but Zip and Soulcast, he said, okay, I've seen you do this before, mate. I'm not gonna fall for it again. And the more kills that keep going Soulcast's way, the more problems I see for FPX. We've already seen two ults come out for him. Plenty of ults up actually on the FPX side, but it's maybe what they need to do to try and gain a bit of chance here. As Meadow deals away with Soulcast, finally, Angel's holding the angle and Link won't win that duel. This is looking so much better for them, four versus two. But still, Cryptix and Scream. Not in a terrible spot. It's easy for Scream to back away from middle for now and try and join up, but it's the time that they're going to be pressured with. Oh, Angel missing the flick. Very low on health and instantly gets tagged up through the box. This is what they need to push on, but they need to go now. And also, when we look at this, right, that was a double up setup with FBX Tactical Arm for finding this success. And, well, Angel's not going to find it this time. Link just jumps out straight into it. Zipan's putting in work, but the ult's been popped from Link. He's pushed on forward, and Meadow needs to be oh so careful. The knives come swinging. The ult's being used by Shao as well. So much committed in this, but Link is on the hunt. Knives are out. He's found one kill already. And will he be expected up here? He's going for an aggressive play. And they're very close to get. They want to ensure that there can be no backup here for Shao. His position's going to be known. He's going to struggle to escape from that in time. Yeah, he gets detained, but Shadow on the edge. He pushes forward just as it disappears. He's looking to tag up as many people as possible. Link's not quite in the fight just yet. He's holding on towards the back. He's looking at the entrance. Xiao's position is so good and he deals away with Link. The spike's been planted, but it's a 5v3 retake. And the ult's going to go out, but no one's in Boathouse close enough for Zipan to put him down. Oh, the ult's going to be pushed out from Eccles this time. Shadow's going to reply with some of his own. The push comes in, but FBX, they are dominant with it now. A lot committed from both sides, but it's another round for the FBX. Yo, that was where Hot pushed this angle, so guess I'll hold it. And he gets a kill on the cross. Then he's there for the retake. Oh. If they had a smoke agent, they had a brimstone or something, he would have popped it earlier. Zipman's dominating them to start this round off. And although you get an off pick, oh, that nade, it's nasty. Selka's actually, it bounced away from him, luckily. <laughs> lucky. Very lucky. It's a bit of a problem to throw the grenade that deep as well. It can be so tricky. But already FPX, they happily back away. Yes, you lost one player in it, but you've got the man advantage. But Shao, over-aggressing. That's weird, the rest of the A players, they back in, and Shadow's always trying to get aggressive. But Shadow's there holding the angle, holding the line. 
Got to be careful. This pick coming out from Link. He wanted to push on it, and now he's going to try and march on forward. He's going to deal away with the trap fire, but he's oh, so heavily tagged up. Meadow, he hangs on to it. And now for Cryptics, 27 health and a dream, and that dream is to try and get as much done in this round as possible. You may be able to find the players split up here, but it's two players that are incredibly skilled in Zipan and Meadow. Zipan just behind. Solkas again, locking off Garden. Flashing his way in. The Omen ult's going to be popped. And Angel going to get over to back his teammates up. He deals away with Solkas. Zipan's still good for one, but that's all he's going to get out of it. And Link, he is putting in God's work now, making it possible for Liquid. He's even got his ult up. This could be a huge difference maker in it. Is it's only Angel and Shao that remain. He pops the ult. He's ready to deal with it if needed. The spike's going to be planted. And look at the crossfire that Liquid can get set up here. This is really nice for them. And a 7-5 scoreline going into the second half would be huge. Link's position is going to be revealed to Paranoia. That could be the problem for him. Angel's out in the open fighting. But Cryptic is able to seal the deal. And this is looking so good for Liquid right now. They isolated one player. They've got to find Shao. He's good for it. Oh, the right click misses. Shao. The previous time that they played against oh, this yeah. team, FPX dominated them almost start to finish. But now we come in with a whole lot of difference. Liquid are looking much better than they did previously. This setup evidently feeling more comfortable. Ooh. Now on the defense, it should be even easier to work with. I love that from Scream as well. You saw it, right? Recon Dart went up. He just backed into the smoke and said, yeah, come on, shall you think it's safe? Well, not for long. He always re-emerges to deliver death and unlike the postal system at the moment he delivers on time <laughs> having a bad time with that as well Mitch yeah. oh yes we all are <laughs> everyone in the world can feel that pain <laughs> <laughs> oh this is dangerous Ooh. look cryptics he was dead either way he had the yeah. focus on the bot the players everything at least he got a kill for his troubles yeah, better than just taking down the bot, right? For sure. Shadow's going to deal away with the turret, but actually going to take some damage either way. Liquid still got the advantage in this. They need to be cautious, though. Angel's been able to get very far, and if he doesn't make too much noise, he might be able to check it out. He's still going to deal with Link, and you don't want to get up close and personal. He's got that shorty, and he's at it again. Oh, he picks up the ghost, but he took some damage. It's Shadow and Meadow landing the shots, but they've still got to deal away with Scream. Some really good goes at it. Eccles. Oh, nicely done. Good timing on the flash, but he has to be oh so careful. Flashed himself out a bit as well. Got to get those time right. Deals the first one. He's got some backup from his teammates, but Shao has no problem at all at holding on to that. Scream's just going to have to back away. And although Soulcast may have a marshal in play, he doesn't want to stick around there on his own for too long. He needs to soften them up and have someone on his team tap them down with a pistol in hand. His FPX, they want to commit to this A site. The push is going to be coming in real soon, and Meadow's the one with the Vandal. Marshall's going to be picked up by Scream. He's hungry. He's on the hunt, looking for an opening, looking for a chance. But it doesn't look like FBX is going to try and give it to him. Ooh! Tries to make it work. Drones is going to go up. He's going to confirm that he's still hanging around there. He'll only see one player for his troubles. A little kill shot by Scream. They know now there's two players towards upper. You've heard the Spectre. You've heard the Marshal. That's the info to play with. FPX, you know, locking this one down. Time's on their side. All they need to do is avoid these fights. Good stun coming through. And they're actually pursuing it afterwards. Ooh. Xiao even gets away with the kill. Drops back down. That's easy pickings. And Liquid should just be saving, but Scream goes forward. He was looking for a fight. Unfortunately, not one that goes his way. And with the amount of investments that they made into this round, with yeah. i.e. pretty much everything, that's a disappointing loss for Liquid. You know, I thought they'd come in with just classics, but evidently they wanted to really punch back and make a statement. But unfortunately... That statement that we have to make is that FPX should be now 8-7 to seven up. It's, it's not great. And a good old Bucky coming into play. And that reminds me of the Southeast Asia region that we covered, Mitch. A lot of Bucky plays over the judge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They were loving the Bucky all day long. And we've seen much more judge in this tournament. You know, when we came back to EU, <laughs> it's definitely been more prevalent, especially in the hands of Xiao. Fuck, you can do some damage every now and then. Help him. You got a beautiful skin like that? Why not go for it? I love the Oni collection. Oh, no. Link wasn't able to jump into his smoke quick enough. Will dash his way out of there, though. Avoids any further damage being done. Soulcast wants to get up close and personal and try and make some magic happen. He's slowly edging his way forward, but Angel just hanging on to the edge. He's ready and waiting for it. He expects it, and it's no problem at all for him. Liquid now very split up. 
with no control of the B site. Quick fix keeping himself hidden, but then he gets revealed. Oh, it's so unfortunate. The timing doesn't work out for him. Oh, Shao. can hear the footsteps. He's expecting that flank. He still hangs on. Oh, my God. Link swinging on him. He was very low on health, but Link still... I mean, no one on Liquid's moving. Echo just doing his best to hold on to this position. Link picking up Chow is going to be a big scalp to take. Eccles, this is really nice. Good setup. It was looking rough because Eccles had to spend so many of his abilities just to hold on to the position and FPX are walking straight past it. But now it's a two versus five. And for Zipan and Meadow, they've got a hell of a lot of work to do. And it's going to take some massive play to come out. No ult in play for Zipan either. He's going to have some magic to work with. Does have the blast packs though. Meadow looking to hold a main and he's hoping someone's just going to poke up through the rafters. But they're putting a lot of focus here on the Raph as the door's been blown up for now. It's all going to come down to this timing. The flashes go out and this retake can be really nice. Meadow's all alone and that's all he's going to get. One kill onto Scream and the rest of Liquid swing on out. Evening up 8 to 8 once the guns were in there. Have to look for something a little bit more repeatable. Angel has just tanked that. He just yeah. stood at the edge of the aftershock. Oh, the swing, but it doesn't work out. Soulcast didn't expect that many bodies to be towards him. Eccles now playing with him right on the edge of it. Wants to try and spam through. Needs to be oh so careful. Still walks away with the kill onto Zipan. That's absolutely huge. The killjoy was doing some damage with it as well. He's got the backup and Cryptics and Scream. They're up high. They're out in the open, but everyone from Liquid's here. The spam comes through and that's an absolutely huge pickup. But is it going to help it be enough? Link popping the ult, but he can't see anything from here. Oh, the Hunter's Fury. It's going to hit hard. It's going to hit strong. Nice work from Xiao. And Meadow's there to back him up. Because it's been looking strong. But now with very little information to play off of, how will they try and get this done? Okay, we got the stun straight away. It's going to block out the guys underneath. They haven't dropped down on the back of it, though. They were trying to deal with Xiao. Now those players aren't stunned anymore down below. And at this point, again, I think saving is probably just the right call. They haven't got the a lot of credits pop. coming into the next round, but they're going to go straight in for it. They want to get this one done. It ain't the easiest, that's for sure. And the drop down by Scream. Oh, oh, he's got it on the first. Invisible to the left side, but his teammates fall. And good for another. Scream is an animal, but he just hasn't got the time to get this done. Straight oh. out with the kill, but it's not in time. He might have gotten an ace, but unfortunately, the round evades him, as does life. And that is disappointing because he just put his all oh. into that one. Also, Banks, I watched it back. It, it didn't. It did. So it, one of them uh. did bounce up. Um, but then afterwards, he actually popped out really quickly and fired a recon. So it looked okay. like it had fallen down. I'm really disappointed about that one. Three. He thought it was time. He thought it was going to be possible. So this is the one you were talking about, right? Yeah. So he actually popped out and reconned it himself, which is why he was a little bit late popping the Hunter's Fury. It's strong. But that was beautiful because he had the info that there were three players there. So he could just so He just keeps it quiet and just keeps it all hidden. Doesn't have to poke out into his waiting on the air. Then he starts off. That's the kill. You need all but a bit of a whiff there on the first few shots. Mello still gets away with one kill, but Soulcast and Link, they're chiming in with some of their own. Certainly possible, especially with that ult being popped on the Phoenix. But will Soulcast find any success? He's flashing on through. He's going to try and use the abilities the best way he can. He's walking away with some damage. Positions are going to be known here. They've got to be careful up close and personal. Oh, Link goes up high, but Shadow's looking to lock it down. Soulcast pushes round and off the back of the Phoenix ult. So much information, even a kill with it as well. And Liquid Will eats the grenade to his face. Down on seven. Echo going to be pushed on back. Doesn't want to fight into this, but Link is able to at least achieve one kill for now. Still more players going up in their grills, and Soulcast is going to deal. Oh, and Zipan has his ult now for this round as well. Oh, he's going to pop it. Doesn't know where to put it just yet. Isn't able to make it connect. Both players win the below of rafters, and he doesn't check it. Scream there, ready and waiting. Still looking to do some more damage, even if he's just got a Spectre in hand. And he's not going to allow Eccles to show just yet. Full focus from FPX down below. The players can come from up high as well. 
Oh, he goes down at the hands of Meadow, but will they check it? They come to swing on it. He goes out with a spike as well. Meadow, a little bit of a blunder there, but FBX is still in with it. They need to get that spike down, but they need to deal with the rest of the players from Liquid, who are currently all over the site. Soulcat's able to heal his way up. The flashes go out, and it's constant flashes, but it's just not working out. FBX, they're holding on for Cryptics. He's got other ideas. He needs to find that second kill. The spike's fine. The back of that, they're going to... Might be able to push them completely into the back of the site, and then even... Even then, not give them a safe haven. This Ooh. has to be a kill. They really want to take down Killjoy at this point. Nicely done by Meadow, and he's not finishing just yet. He's putting an end to two Liquid players. The ult's going to be put down, but there we go. It's going to work out from both sides. Sal knows he needs to deliver some huge damage. It's all on Link. It's